I am going to do today two experiments to demonstrate the exothermic and endothermic chemical reactions. So, first we are going to uh, do an endothermic reaction where I add barium hydroxide and uh, ammonium chloride together. So I'm going to put some barium hydroxide in this beaker. And in another beaker, I will add ammonium chloride. Before adding these two reactants together, I'm going to use a piece of wood and I'm going to uh, make it wet. So I'll pour some water on it. Now I'll place the beaker containing the uh, barium hydroxide. I'm placing the temperature sensor to record the temperature before the beginning of the chemical reaction. It is now uh, around 24 degrees Celsius. So now I'm going to add the barium, uh, the ammonium chloride. The reaction is very fast. The temperature started to drop. It's going to go below zero. At this point, water will freeze. So it's like uh, a white uh, liquid now. And the beaker is very cold. The temperature keeps on dropping. It is really cold. So now after the reaction finished, I'm going to uh, lift this up and I expect the water that was between the beaker and the piece of wood froze. So no matter how I hardly try to separate them, it's just sticking. This is the, some water fell, so here. Okay, I'll try to keep it for a while. Okay, so here we go. The water that was between the beaker turned to ice. See the pieces of ice? This is an endothermic reaction. This experiment, this reaction, absorbed the heat that was in the water and turned the water 
from uh, liquid to solid. Now the second experiment uh, is to show an exothermic uh, chemical reaction. I have here calcium carbonate. And I'm going to add uh, concentrated sulfuric acid to it. So first we're recording the temperature. It is uh, 22 degrees Celsius. Now you're going to hear the sound of uh, the bubbles of gas forming. It's turning, the beaker is turning hot and the temperature is increasing. From it was, we remember we started 22 degrees Celsius. So this is also another example. This is an example to demonstrate an exothermic reaction.